Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have some brand new features added to Samsung Galaxy smartphones via the One Hand Operation Plus module. Now, the One Hand Operation Plus module is part of the Good Luck module, and it allows you to do things like this. You can set this bar on the side, and if I swipe downwards, I can access certain features. Now let's talk about these specific updates for this particular situation and show you what is exactly new. So if you go to the good luck module, okay, if you have this installed, it's going to show up like this, good luck. And then what you do is you go to one hand operation plus. Now to get the latest update, what you want to do is you want to tap on more and then go to the store. And from the store, you're going to see the update option right here. If I do scroll down a little bit, you can see the newest version is 6.7.19.0. And what's new is we have a brand new Arrow 3 animation and we have the revert the hide handle feature and some changes that apply to tablets only. So let me show you the top two features right over here. Again, if I go to my good lock module, let's start from the very beginning so you can see the flow. Good lock, go to one hand operation plus, and then as you can see, it is active. So first, let's talk about the animation. So look at this. When I pull this, if I'm in the home screen, if I go down like this, you can see there is an animation. That's the arrow animation, okay? That is now customizable to look different ways. So it already was, but we have a new animation. So again, inside One Hand Operation Plus, you tap on Advanced Features, and then you go to Animation, and we have the Arrow 3 animation that was just added. So arrow one is this one right here, okay? Arrow two is this one right here, and arrow three is this one right here, okay? So we have different looks. Let's take a look at the curved line over here. I don't like that one. So arrow three is the new one that you can have to further customize your one hand operation plus. So we have the left handle activated. So I'm gonna show you the other new feature inside the left handle. This over here is the left handle. Now, you can see, if I swipe right, it's supposed to go back. If I swipe up, it's supposed to bring me the floating navigation buttons. And if I swipe down, it is supposed to bring me the quick tools. Now, the new feature, if I tap over here, is something known as the hide handle feature with its own additional settings, okay? So hide handle feature, I'm gonna assign to swipe diagonal down. So let me show you what that is. So you can see there's a handle right here. I have it set to black. In fact, let me change that so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So let's do the width a little bit larger. Handle color, I'm gonna say red. Now you're gonna be able to see it easily. There's a red line bar right here. So now what I can do is I can hide the handle for a specified amount of time. So if I swipe diagonal downwards, it is going to hide the handle for X amount of seconds. Okay, I'm gonna go back in here, uh, over here, tap this at the bottom. If I tap on settings, you can see I can go from three seconds to five seconds to 15 seconds to one minute to 10 minutes. So for whatever reason, you are able to hide the handle. Maybe you're looking at something and the handle is distracting you. Boom, you get to hide it for X amount of minutes or seconds. So just to give you an example, here's three seconds. Okay, that's the timeout. Let's try it out. One, two, three. It should be back and it popped right back as you can see. Okay, so that's the hide handle feature. I don't understand what they actually meant over here though. Uh, if I go over here, it says revert the hide handle feature. So that I guess means they brought it back or something. But I did check my other Samsung phone that is running an older version right over here and I did not see the hide handle feature at the bottom. So it must be just a new feature that is showing up for further customization, all right? But that's basically it. The other feature applies to tablets. If you have a tablet, you can test it out. I did not test that one out, uh, but that's about it. And you can see we also have bug fixes and stability improvements, which is always a good thing. Makes the software run smoother. That's it. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.